Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Word Bible Study. A plain and simple book by book, chapter by chapter, and verse by verse study through the entire Bible. Currently we are in Isaiah chapter 45, and I'm doing a little parenthetical study here. I'm a, I'm a, I, I want to kind of talk a little more, a little further about making, dealing with this issue with evolution, okay? Now, um, let me bring up my scripture again, so you can know where, kind of where we are. And it's verse 12. He says, I made the earth, I created man on it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded all their hosts. So this is a very bold statement that God is declaring and i'm going to get back to why i believe this i've said it before but i'm going to get back to why do i believe this statement here versus why don't i believe the claims of evolution the claims of the um the ideal that um this all proceeded from just natural processes um, and, 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 and I said, when you kind of go back and, and from it, and, and in terms of its roots, especially around the 1800s and especially in our time frame, a lot of things popped off in the 1800s. So you have some bad religions that popped off, Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, Christian science, some things like that. Um, but Darwin popped off about the same time frame. And to me, one of the roots of it is it was a rebellion against one, the church, but also God. In other words, if you can look at all of this, if you look at all of this creation here and say it 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 started from a bang, but then it just cooled down, right? Uh, you got about the bang started about 14 billion years ago, and around 10 billion years, you got the planets that form. Now, again, how did they form, and why did they form? And I'm, by the way, I'm kind of repeating somewhat what I heard from an an atheist who kind of laid this out. So after about four, 10, about 10 billion years, there was like a 200 million year period of time where the earth was just a flat rock. It cooled down, right? And then you got this just flat, I mean, lifeless rock. Which, why is it round? Why did it form round? Okay? But it was plummeted by space rocks. And then after that period, the space rocks stopped plummeting it. To which I asked, why did the space why did where did the space rock go for it to stop plumbing hitting the earth? Right? Where, why why have why for the last four billion years, right, this kind of pummeling has stopped? Why? And then it cooled down. And then started forming life. Now, that life, you know, water, the four building blocks of life, that sort of was deposited on the earth, deposited on the earth. And then about 3.7 3 billion years ago, microbes formed. So why did they form from this and then eventually produce this? An earth teeming with all of these different kinds of animals. Now, this I use more like this is an evolution picture, e evolution uh, process here, where as you can see these creatures crawl out of the water, and then you have the primal stage, these evolutionary stages right here. But my my question to that is, all this is why, why, why with this. 
if you're looking at this from an investigative perspective and saying, okay, so one, this happened naturally. So where's the, to me, where's the logic in that? This happened naturally. I, to me, I don't care if you give it a hundred trillion years. You, I, it, to me, logically, it doesn't make sense to me that you have all of this order. Now, keep that in mind, order. Now, one science said, actually, and I, one science said this, where they, um, that all of this is more reasonable to deduce that it came not from an intelligent designer, but from a mindless process, meaning natural selection. And then it says, they use the word that natural selection created this, spun the or I mean, the, the orbits and the gravity, right? You get some microbes that eventually, you know, jump, pop out all of this over 4 billion years, right? 4 billion years, and then we get to um, this. I like this picture because, again, look at all. If natural selection did this, that would mean that natural selection decided over time, without no mind, without no thought, right? It, it created right? It created no mind, no thought that we needed a mouth. Now, why would we need a mouth? Because we needed to eat. So now in its creating, you go back to this, right? So natural selection is, if I understand this right, biological science, so then you come to the cos, uh, cosmos, <laughs> so then you say, again, from this flat ball, then you got all of this land that has food on it, right, that has trees, fruit, right, that we eat, and that fruit just happens to have nutrients um, for all of the animals, right? Nutrients for, to sustain. So why is natural, just again, just, just kind of a natural way, it's very specific to do this. And when I say that it's very specific to do that, because in order for us to live on this earth, all of these components that you see here, it gave us a nose so that we could breathe. But then why did it give us two eyes? Why two ears? Why 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 did we even need to hear? If if the natural processes was the survival of the fittest, meaning we needed this because we needed to survive, why we don't need an ear to survive. Right? But it gave us a mouth. But why did it why why did why why did why did you need male and female? See what what what's the what is the thought behind that, or lack of thought? In other words, if you just kind of go that natural process of way, why would you come out with a male and female? And then of course the sexual organs. Why did it even form? You know the the millions of nerve endings that make sex awesome, right? Why 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 would it even do that? Why? Now, if it's evolution, I thank you, evolution. <laughs> but again, it, it, it just seems to me silly that when you say, and again, I go back to my, if you come across a murder scene and you're doing proper investigation, that you're not going to conclude, unless you don't want to, unless you kind of, 
you're trying to stay away from the the murderer. Maybe you suspect who it is. That happens all the time. People cover up for stuff. Um, there was a story just in, in the news about a man, prosecutors who, which is rare, and I hope it becomes less rare, but two prosecutors are actually on trial going to go to jail for the putting the man away for almost 30 years, but they lied in order to do that. So that's not science right there. In other words, to me, that's not logic. I understand what it is. It's just evil, but it's not logic. So the same thing, if you, if Darwin, Darwin all of a sudden just, you know, I would, and it, to me, it's like anything but God. Now they have a saying is, yeah, we don't know, therefore God. Well, I don't claim to know. First of all, I don't claim to know. But I do believe the statement. I do believe the statement. Now, I do think the creation debate, the creation versus evolution debate, um, it's, it's a kind of foolish one on Christian's standpoint because um, let's go back to my... Um, uh, I'm going to go back to my where my screen at here. Um, I think the evolution uh, Christian debate and the idea of creationism being taught in school then creationism even people, I hear people even saying that the Bible you know, kind of proves science and it doesn't it doesn't prove science. It makes a statement. Here, I made the earth. There's nothing scientific about that. God, and, and, and in other words, God to me is a God of science. He created science. He created all things. This is what he's telling us here. I made the earth. I created man on it. It was my hands who stretched out the heavens. Now, he's just making statements here. He says that I commanded all their hosts. So when I look at now the stars, as we did, all of the orbits of the planets, that makes more sense to me than to say that natural processes produce that. I could say, give it a trillion years, a hundred trillion years, and you still got to explain the very specific creation as well as complex, as well as billions of species. Now, I don't expect for them to have an answer, but in their minds, well, we, we, know, it, we know God didn't do it. And then they would say, a lot of atheists now would say today, well, it's not that we're saying that we don't believe in God. We just haven't found evidence of God. Okay. Have you looked? In other words, if you look at, let me go back to my picture here again. If you, if you look at all of the creation, right? To me, if you look around you, and and then so now I'm I'm dealing with this now on the spiritual level because I listen to the natural selection presentation. For example, like I told you about the one that four building blocks and they kind of thought that was a got you kind of answer. When they said that there are four building blocks of life, which you see here everywhere. Okay, and that got you on that. Four building blocks of life. Then they say, well, the four building blocks of life were found in space. That's a wow to me because that then tells me if the four building blocks of life are found in space. But they and then he goes on and says that they were self assembled. Now he never necessarily said assembled to what, but self assembled. So the Four building blocks of life, harbor things like proteins, harbor, harbor 
Cardrick, excuse me, Harbor, uh, Hyper, no, where's my notes here? <laughs> Carbohydrates, uh, nucle nu nucleic acids, lipoids, those are the four building blocks of life, okay? And from that, I guess he says, all life comes, all life springs. And then he says that those four building blocks are out in space. They see them on meteors and stuff. So that, okay, so if the, as the logic goes, that the earth was plummeted by all of these rocks that could have had all of the four building blocks of life on it, then Allah, it produces this. Okay. Um, but why? And I always ask that question again. Why? And like I say, when you get down to, why do I need two eyes in? Why do I need to hear? For that matter, why do I need a body that needs to be nourished so I need to eat something? And then just so happens, the earth has plenty of food for me to eat. So now you got the food that's there. Then you got my body that needs that food. So then I, I have also a mouth to eat, teeth to chew. Then I got to swallow. So I got a mechanism to swallow. And then when it gets down into the digestive system, it absorbs the nutrients from the food that just happen to be what I need to eat. In other words, I can't eat a rock and survive, right? But the, everything else, they, they have nutrients in there. But then what do I do with that food when I'm done, right? Do I regurgitate it back up through my mouth? Right? Yuck. Yes. Yuck. But no. I eliminate it out the other way, right? The other direction. And just so happened natural selection said, thought of all of this. <laughs> just thought of all this. So in the last study, the complexity of just the sexual organs, male and female. Again, if you were a, just investigating and you would like, um, and you pull my picture up again, uh, if you're investigating, all of a sudden you pull up and you says, okay, I see two humanoids there. They both got arms, both got chest. Well, wait a minute, her, that chest is a little different than his, okay. Both got eyes, both got nose. Um, but wait a minute, there's something different. One has a set of, of genitals. This one has a different set of genitals. But now when I look at that body of the female, it's even structured different to what? It has some things called ovaries, has some things that it has the mechanism to carry a child, but this one doesn't. And all of this they want to tell us was by natural processes, no mind. And then one, one atheist said, it's reasonable to even think that this would come. And, and one of the most interesting things about this is that they, they try to downplay the significance of man, that, that man that God created, God created this planet for man. He created this planet for man. And, and so if you're looking at that, wouldn't you deduce that? Why, how could you say it just happened through natural processes? See, that process doesn't make sense when you get into the um, specifics like I said, so, so like I said, why, why would it? Why do I need to reproduce that way? And I guess what? If it's natural processes, thank you because awesome. Sex is awesome. So the, the statement here is God saying, "I created all of this." That's not a scientific statement. It's a sovereignty, sovereign statement, and I believe it. I believe it. All right, guys, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. 
And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. I'll see you in the next study.